Hey, I'm Max. And I'm Carl. And we're off topic. Today we played Jeopardy for the PlayStation 3. This is Jeopardy! We're not even going to bother boring you with the hour of fail play. We're just going to do a straight review on this one. Hard as balls. Hard as mo fucking balls. First, we'll look at the first thing that we see. Oh, well, that sounded obvious. Anyway, presentation of the design. It's obvious that they were trying to make it look like the show. I mean, look at how lifelike the character models are. <laughs> I forgot I was playing a game at times. It had that much immersion. No. We're lying, if you didn't get the joke. The joke was, you see, that it is bad. F minus minus. <sighs> That right there is a failing grade game. You did a good job, except that you didn't. Moving right into... Audios! Most of the time, the audio is genuinely pretty cool. It sounds like the show, but I think they could have done a little more. Stuff Jeopardy! Alex Rebeck! Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Also, why are there no buzzer sounds? Can I unlock any? Let's hear it, player one. Well, I don't care. Moving on. Gameplay! Uh, no. No? Extrapolate? Controls? Need a bit more. Ah, game controls. Thanks. No, but seriously, the way the buzzing worked was frustrating to say the least. It was whoever was faster rapidly mashing the X button and had the random luck to be sensed first. The game swayed in the favor of whoever selected the clue. Due to that, Max often got a stream of questions in a row and I got niche. That and I'm pro was balls. Fuck yeah! yeah. I also disagree with how the buzzers were handled. I think the game should punish those who jump the gun. Uh, how punished? Severely. Ah, story time now. Story. There isn't really one. Hey, Max, what about the love triangle between Alex Pointless Cake 1 and Samantha? Samantha? Oh god, yeah, I remember. Welcome our contestants. So we've got Pointless Cake 0, Pointless Cake 1, and, uh... Samantha. Samantha. Okay, no, but you're right. No story. Next. Question. <laughs> Probably the worst. Oh, Max, you're just in denial. What a nasal passage. This means war. No, but seriously, most of the questions were about Murica. Fuck yeah! Not doing that. Sorry. So, it made it difficult for us Canucks. This game cost me a boot five loonies, eh? I had to fill up my dog said twice. Bottom line, if you have too much time, money, and dignity on your hands, this game will alleviate those burdens nicely for you. Overall, not an awful game, just hard. Also, the difficulty gap between easy and medium was really unreasonable. If you're really good at trivia, or like, you know, a computer box, this is a game for you. I'm sorry, game, I'm gonna have to give you a five out of ten. And for me, a seven out of ten. So we're off topic and we're out. With Max and with Carl's and with Jonah in the background, sometimes we're <laughs> off, but we're usually actually on topic. <laughs> this is totally going Outro. In. Nice. I'm sorry, that wasn't it. Oh no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, he might. He was like, God damn it. Oh my god! Speed of light. Oh well. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's get back to the show. Why didn't you at least guess? <laughs> you wouldn't have lost anything for guessing. Ugh. <laughs> oh, fuck! That's funny.